So my name's Alex. I'm a clinical nurse specialist at UCL8. And my poster is thematic analysis on talquatamab and patient perceptions. So talquatamab is a bispecific that targets GPR C5D um, as its target. So these are also expressed on um, keratin cells, which are found on the tongue, on the skin and on the nails. So this results in these patients having a very specific and very specific supported care needs to help with the side effects that come from this. So they can have issues with their nails, their nails falling off. And they can have skin issues from dryness to skin peeling from particularly their hands and their feet. And they can have taste changes and mouth sores, which can, which can ultimately result in weight loss for these patients. So the data on how talquatamab um, has these physical side effects, not, there's not much data on how it affects their quality of life. This is pretty much just limited to the monumental one trial. So this, these interviews aim to characterize uh, patient perceptions and how it affects their quality of life. So I interviewed nine patients at a single time point. Um, it was done largely retrospectively. Only one patient was still on treatment at the time of the interview interviews. Mostly they had gone on to other lines of treatment. I think one was taking a treatment break and one patient was palliative. So it wasn't actually um, appropriate to include them in the interviews. So five of the patients were male, four were female, two were black, one was Asian and six were white. And I did semi-structured interviews. So I asked them five questions, either in person or over the phone. Um, so the first question was, what were your expectations of Talquatamab? And um, the second were, what were the highlights and lowlights? The third was, what was your experience of um, supportive care whilst you were receiving the drug? Uh, the fourth was, how did it affect your overall experience of myeloma treatment? And the fifth was, how did it affect your quality of life? So as with the clinical trials, um, I found that 89% of the patients had nail changes and skin issues, and 45% um, had weight loss. So this is similar to what Monumental One found. Now, with these physical side effects came another theme of um, psychological side effects. So 56% reported social anxiety, particularly around eating. They felt pressure of going out for dinner, feeling like it was a waste of money if they weren't able to manage the food. And also, um, it, they struggled to sit down with their families at mealtimes. They also report, 33 percent also reported low mood due to the physical side effects and 22 percent reported feeling socially isolated due to changes in their physical appearance. So this could include um, the, the skin on their hands peeling and having huge fissures, particularly when they had young children and drastic weight loss. It's been something that people commented on and it just reduced their self-esteem. Now with this came how so, um, supportive therapy has helped with these symptoms. So 67% felt that their clinical teams, their CNSs and supportive care measures that were taken. So things like mouth washes and um, skin ointments, referrals to the dietitian, to the counseling and psychological team. Psychology team really helped them with managing these symptoms and helping them get better. Now 67% um, of patients felt that they did receive the appropriate information prior to receiving the drug but still 33% didn't feel um, ready for the side effects um, or what to expect. Only 33% reported an improved quality of life whilst on the drug, but 45% did say it gave them hope for, the hope for the future and for a better outcome overall. So what we can tell from this is that Talquatimab, as we know, does come with these quite unusual physical side effects, but there's not enough that we understand about how this affects them psychologically, and there needs to be more research there. What we do know is supportive care measures and early interventions and appropriate assessments of these physical symptoms um, helps patients overall in managing these and combating them early on, but generally feeling supported by their teams gives them an improved experience of the service and quality of life.